Hi there, this is Sarah with WHMCS. Today we're going to walk through the process of upgrading your PHP version before you upgrade to WHMCS 8.0 or higher. WHMCS 8.0 includes powerful new features, a new look and feel in the admin area, and many other improvements. One of the most important steps in this upgrade is ensuring that your PHP installation uses a supported version. WHMCS 8.0 supports PHP 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4. So, if you run other versions, you're going to need to upgrade to PHP 7.2 or 7.3 first. Make sure not to upgrade all the way to PHP 7.4 before you upgrade to WHMCS 8.0, since versions of WHMCS before 8.0 aren't compatible with 7.4. If you do, you'll run into some issues. If you aren't sure what your PHP version is, you can check this in WHMCS. From here, go to Help and then System Health Status. you're going to see a message here under PHP version. If it says you're running on PHP 7.2 or 7.3, you're all set and your PHP version is ready for the upgrade. You can also check your PHP version in the control panel that hosts your WHMCS installation and its domain. Let's look at the most popular ones. In cPanel, Log in, and then, on the right-hand side, click Server Information. Scroll down the page, and PHP version will show you your current version. In Plesk, log in and go to Tools and Settings under Server Management in the menu. Then, go to PHP Settings, and your current versions will all be marked with green check marks. In Direct Admin, Log in and go to Domain Management and then Modify Domain. Click PHP Version Selector and you'll be able to both see and change your PHP version. In most modern control panels, you can update your PHP version easily. Of course, this is going to depend on your permissions, the system administrator or hosting provider's settings, and the PHP versions they allow you to choose from. If you aren't sure about changing it yourself, we recommend that you contact them for help. Here's how you change your PHP version in cPanel. First, log in to the cPanel account that hosts your WHMCS installation. From here, I'm going to go to the Software section and click on Multi-PHP Manager. I'll check the box for my WHMCS domain and then select the PHP version I want from here in the corner. Now, I'll just click Apply. If the version you need isn't in the list, depending on your permissions on the server, you can either use Easy Apache 4 in WHM to install it, or you can contact your system administrator to do it for you. And now I'm going to go back to the main page of cPanel, back down to the Software section, and go to Multi-PHP INI Editor. I'll click Editor, and then select that same domain from Select a Location. So now I have a blank PHP INI file, and I just need to add two lines to it. If you need to, you can copy-paste these lines from the description under the video. And now, I just need to click Save. If you want to verify your PHP version now, log back into WHMCS and go to Help System Health Status. You should see the correct PHP version there. Next, we recommend that you perform some other steps before upgrading, like checking out our release notes for changes and creating a backup of your existing installation. You should also check for compatibility with your extensions and modules in the WHMCS Marketplace, and in any custom templates or overrides you use. You can find out more in our documentation and on the WHMCS blog. There are links in the description under the video. 
We hope this video helped you prepare to upgrade WHMCS. If it did, make sure to like and share. For more information about WHMCS, the world's leading automation platform of choice, hit subscribe under the video or visit whmcs.com.